Cindy has a, a long history in working in power electronics, and we also have a history in working in semiconductors. And we knew there was a critical gap in power electronics where magnetics were not being addressed. And we knew that we wanted to address this shortage by making new soft magnetic materials. So what people do normally is they, they when they're designing these um, high frequency power conversion system, is they take uh, off the shelf units and it's an afterthought. But you need a, a much better approach, a much more holistic approach to designing these system. And this is exactly what this um, advanced magnetics uh, project does. We have to go beyond the traditional materials utilizing either silicon or just off-the-shelf um, magnetic materials to, to perform the power conversion system. So we're looking at alternative systems utilizing white band gap devices, uh, silicon carbide gallium nitride, or um, advanced capacitors, and in this case, advanced magnetics. Um, these new materials allow for a much higher density design, uh, much more efficient, and uh, more compatible with, with what you see out there. So the next generation of these systems are gonna be a lot more high-performing uh, power conversion system uh, with utilizing advanced materials internal to that. And the key part of that, as you increase the switching frequency of power conversion system, they get smaller. However, as you increase the power conversion switching uh, frequency, things heat up. And especially if you're using wide band gap devices, you need not only the wide band gap device to be operating at a higher temperature, also the magnetic needs to be at higher temperatures. The traditional uh, materials uh, cannot uh, operate at much at these temperatures greater than 150 degrees C or so. And that's why we need this particular um, new design, uh, this new design for, for advanced power conversion system. It's a new soft magnetic material called iron nitride. Stoichiometry is Fe4N. It's made of only iron and nitrogen, so it's a very low cost material. It can be used in power electronics as an inductor, it can be used inside a transformer, it can be used inside electric motors and electric generators. It can be produced using something called spark plasma sintering, which allows us to do something called net shaping, uh, where we eliminate the need to machine uh, any part after fabrication. Also, our material has a very high magnetization, which leads to very high power densities, very small volumes, very low mass in the soft magnetic part. The material also has a very high resistivity, which allows us to mitigate eddy current losses and to be very efficient, electrically efficient, that is. If these uh, new magnetics are incorporated into newer advanced design, it can transform many types of uh, circuits, including electric vehicles, including renewable energy, including distributed energy resources like battery energy storage for the grid. It just makes that a much more efficient device than what we had before. So typically for materials that we use today, uh, they're limited with its capability. But with new materials like this magnetic device, it will completely transform the overall system in a higher, much higher density design and higher frequency and much more performing uh, power conversion system we can influence energy efficiency globally uh, in, in electric distribution, in transportation, and in all sorts of sectors that use energy. It is the world's first commercially available iron nitride soft material that could be developed today. And it could transform the next generation of power conversion system around the world.